started. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do here is clean this up, and this is like this is kind of how I like to create definitions that I'm gonna use regularly. Um, well, I mean, there are even more intelligent ways of doing this. You could actually make it so that it's like a single node. You can create your own custom nodes with this stuff. All right, we'll do that eventually. But um, right now we're gonna keep the ideas on here on the table so we can see them. Um, so I mentioned before that I like to think of these things as, as like ideas, right? And, and when you complete an idea, right, that, that thread of the algorithm is done in theory. So, um, even though this isn't really like an idea logically, it is a part of the system. So I'll frequently, you know, kind of group these things together and title them as a part of the system. So this one can be um, the balusters. Or if you want to get real clever, you can um, do like a scribble, right? That's under um, params utility scribble and then you can call it title it it's just like a bigger text thing so sometimes that's clearer to some people yeah i don't know if that actually is supposed to have two l's by the way so if it's not that's that's my bad um so then this one is going to be the um post and top rail So that's naming your groups, um, but oh, also if you have a big group like this, you can move the whole thing around just by grabbing the group, which is nice. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to clean up is is this stuff that's happening over here on the left-hand side, because because railings can get really busy, like they they get really intricate. Like imagine how many components you're creating to create this one, and even that one is pretty simple. Um, so. Um, I don't like to have all these wires, like all this spaghetti all over the place, so I like to clean it up by using my params to my advantage. Um, so I mentioned this before, what's cool about these params is that they are empty, empty houses for data. And we can use that to create wireless connections that feed into these ideas and we can organize them very neatly. So what I'm going to do here is... Um, pull some of this data into um, wireless connection um, elements. So, uh, and it's gonna look redundant at first, but you'll understand why at the end. So um, let's take a look at this slab edge, for instance. It's a geometry, right? And I kind of tend to use the generic items for something like this. So I'm gonna pick, uh, pick a geometry input and I'm gonna plug the slab edge into it. <laughs> so, um, What's cool about this is, um, depending on like which kind of elements you have here, I mean, it's a little, it's overly redundant. Well, actually, let me use, uh, let me do it with this one first with a number. So let's go to um, primitive, and I'm going to pull number, and let's plug in negative 0.02. So if I call this edge offset, similar to its main name, right? I have this here. Um, I'm going to copy and paste it and plug another one into it just so you can see what it's doing right there so I have two of them it looks super redundant right the reason I have two is because this one is actually going to go somewhere else and I'm going to right click it and go to wire display and say hidden so now this thing is still connected but when I don't have it selected I can't see the wire so now I can move this thing down to wherever the negative 2 is connected and plug that in okay so sometimes I'll actually leave the wireless connection here and plug that in that way right so I'll leave one there and then I'll um, copy and paste this right so these are the same thing they're both wireless but when I need another one, which I do, um, I can just copy and paste this and then pull it down to the other location where it's connected, which is here. So it starts to clean up those wires 
gives you an understanding of how to how that idea like which information is being fed into that idea um, and then you can move on with something very clear so I'm gonna do the same thing um, with the bottom and top guard uh, bottom guard rail height so I'm gonna call this bottom guard height copy and paste that and I'll put one there and then um, another one for top guard height copy paste um, and so this is going to be bottom guard height with top guard height and then just so I can um, well I'm gonna have to go through it all before I can fully break this thing but let's go back up to geometry I'm gonna pull that geometry here uh, plug it into slab edge make it wireless call this slab edge copy paste plug it in paste and plug it in okay so now I'm like I'm really kind of broken on this one um, so I can pretty much move that anywhere I want and now this information is just sitting here um, I'm gonna finish up the rest of this and then I'll show you the final result um, in a moment without recording the whole thing okay so um, after cleaning those up I mean I like to keep the ideas uh, locked in together so I'm gonna um, whoops I'm gonna ungroup this and then regroup it all together and then this one same thing ungroup group cool so now um, we've got kind of our, our main panel of information that's this stuff uh, I'm gonna make it kind of a cool color like the blue um, so that information stays in the top left corner um, and then I just start kind of lining up my ideas and components right next to it uh, and then I just kind of go to town right so um, anyway that is how you create wireless connections that are gonna I think inform a lot of what's happening Oh, I didn't create yeah these ones yeah because they're just showing you what it's called yeah that one I did a little differently so this is going back to that yeah okay so this is just showing you what the um, the name of it is and then uh, yeah and then you can just you you use these to pull your copy and pastes and then just drop them down into the definition somewhere okay um, what questions do you have What do you mean? Like larger definitions and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I do. There are some. You can find them in the folders. Not all of them are so clean. Um, so I, I kind of need to get better at that. But yeah. Any other questions? OK, so get cleaned up. And let's take a break. And we'll get going again in 15 minutes. So um, yeah. I think 15 minutes. We'll see how long it takes you to get, get this thing cleaned up. Actually, um,